Hi, and welcome to our first edition of this vlog session from the graduate students here at Virginia Tech. Uh, today, we will be discussing about uh, the Republican candidates most likely to win the Republican ticket. Um, I personally believe that the that the um, who will win the Republican ticket is Mitt Romney. Um, I believe this based off of he showed um, strong attributes inside the uh, debate arena. He has soundly defeated my nemesis Rick Perry. And uh, I, although I don't think that if he does win the Republican ticket in debates, I don't think he'll be able to beat Barack Obama. I do believe that who he's matched up against now he will win due to Ron Paul being very good in debates, Newt Gingrich being good in debates. They just don't have that strong of a following on a consistent basis from poll to poll, I believe. So I will again say I believe that Mitt Romney will win a Republican ticket. I personally have the favor for the Dark Horse candidate, uh, Ron Paul. Uh, I think he has a more energized and dedicated base than the other candidates. Uh, in addition, with his overall experience, uh, Washington is serving as a representative from Texas. Uh, I think he has some bold and new ideas that really resonate with a lot of young individuals as in addition to a lot of core uh, Republican followers. Uh, in addition, um, he's been doing fairly well in the polls overall. Uh, his fundraising efforts have gained quite a decent amount of media attention here recently. And I think in the end he's going to pull it off. Um, for me, I, you know, I, I really don't, um, I don't think this particular group of candidates is particularly strong on any one subject. Uh, I think, as of right now, probably the front runner. Uh, I know it's Newt, but I still think Mitt Romney's probably uh, the better option if, if it had to be between those two. Uh, I think Mitt Romney could swing the, you know, more independents and more moderates than uh, just about any other candidate up there, other than my favorite would be John Huntsman. Um, I think he's got quite the uh, foreign policy re resume being the ambassador to uh, uh, China for three uh, terms, I believe, and he was the governor of Utah. I think he's, he's probably closest to the center out of all the candidates and probably why you're not seeing him do as well as he could be doing if it was a regular election. Uh, but I think as of right now, maybe it's too, it's too close to call uh, because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen in the primaries. Uh, you, you have a lot of candidates dumping a lot of money. I know Huntsman's dumping a lot of money in New Hampshire. Bachman's dumping a lot of money in Iowa, probably hoping to make a splash and shoot up the, shoot up the uh, polls and probably hoping that she can hold on through uh, most of the primaries. It's going to be interesting to see who, who gets uh, South Carolina as well. Uh, uh, you know, I, I know right now Newt's the front runner, but... He he just shoots himself in the you know foot too many times. He's got too much of a you know, too much of a past, and uh, I just don't think he's going to be able to pull it out when it comes to looking at the the whole base of the Republican Party. Right now, they're you know they're going really towards the right, and not not enough to the center. So now that we've discussed the candidates that we think will most likely win the Republican primary, let's take a few <laughs> minutes and just discuss the candidates that are probably least likely to actually pick up the ticket. Um, well, I guess we can start with, we talking about candidates that have already ran or have already Probably dropped right now. Um, I don't think Gary Johnson has a strong candidacy due to his, what is it, 43% budget cut. I think that's a little too drastic for most Americans, even though some Americans believe that that is necessary. Um, I think Gary Johnson at the core has good values would be a strong candidate for the Republican Party, but just with that one, you know, aspect, I think he's just, that, that just scares too many Republicans away right there. Just just that, just a 43% cut in the budget is just unreal. My candidate selected is actually John Huntsman, mainly for the one reason, he just does not have the name recognition out there available in the current field of candidates that are currently running in the primary. Uh, while he does have incredible experience in terms of an ambassador, uh, in terms of his success as a former governor, uh, it just seems he is not resonating with any sort of base within this Republican primary. Yeah, and no, I agree with uh, Rob here on, on the point of the Huntsman. Uh, uh, but I would have to say, uh, probably if we're, if we're looking at candidates who probably don't have a shot, uh, mine would be Rick Santorum out of Pennsylvania. He, uh, he just doesn't debate well. 
He's got a look on his face that he looks like he's smelling something every debate. Uh, he just doesn't look comfortable on the podium. I don't. I just don't. He doesn't have a happy he's face. Rude. Yeah, he, he's. Uh, he just doesn't come across well as a very likable person, uh, whereas most of the other candidates do. And uh, I just don't see him having a shot unless he makes a splash in the primaries. What do you guys think about Bachman? Uh, Bachman puts out good sound bites. She debates well, but uh, it'll be interesting because she's dumping a lot of money in Iowa from what from what I hear. So. It'll be interesting to see what she does in the polls there. And, and she comes from a Midwestern state, so that may, that may help her. From Iowa. Yeah. Well, no, she's from Minnesota, right? Well, she was born in Iowa, oh. and then she moved up to Minnesota. Yeah. Well, that would definitely help. Definitely. All righty. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Hopefully you found this somewhat informative. And if not, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so anyway, uh, join us in the future as we'll be discussing more topics throughout the year, ranging from beverages, to products, to movie reviews, and all sort of other social issues. Hopefully next time this won't be as scripted, and uh, we do welcome comments, negative and positive. Please let us know uh, if you want us to talk longer, talk less. Uh, maybe or not longer. talk at all. Yeah, that, that's fine too. Or get rid of the whole cans. Yeah. Not getting rid of these. <laughs> all right, thanks guys.